Soon after Richard Madden and David Sweat escaped from a maximum security prison in upstate New York, investigators allege that prison employee Joyce Mitchell smuggled them hacksaw blades, chisels, and drill bits to help them break out. Across the country, contraband behind bars is a constant problem, and inmates will do anything to get it in, smuggling everything from knives to drugs to cell phones. A few years ago in Georgia, someone killed a cat and stuffed it with cell phones and cigarettes before tossing it over a jail wall. Upon further examination of that cat, we discovered that it was stuffed with both cell phones and tobacco. They had actually taken the life of that cat, opened it up, and replaced everything with their contraband, hoping an inmate would be the one sent out by the prison staff to clean it up. Jail officials say employees are often a source of the problem. In 2011, a Fulton County employee smuggled in a gun that an inmate used to shoot another prisoner. Each day, jail and prison staff workers are scanned, but still get items through. This is even before this incident with the Clinton Correctional Institute. It has raised awareness with our staff that, that we know that they're tempted on a daily basis. If an inmate is trying to compromise you, let us know early so that you don't get into trouble later. In this prison surveillance video from 2013, you can see a teen tossing contraband over a security fence, his mother sitting in a car, Guards move in, and the mom takes off, leaving her son behind. Legal documents that come to the jail are not searched by jail staff, but an inmate does have to flip through it so jail staff can see what's on the inside. And they found this, a cell phone charger placed in the middle. Jail officials say cell phones can be more dangerous than any other weapon. A cell phone in the hand of an inmate can be used to set that up to negotiate whether it be paying for someone to deliver the tools, someone to pick them up, I mean, it gives them real-time connections just like you and I have. We got a first-hand look at how the Fulton County Jail in Atlanta is using devices like this tower to pick up electronic signals. When they see this, they know what's coming next. Oh, it's gotten to the point now where when they see the device, they just give up the cell phone so we don't have to, you know, tear up their stuff. It's the constant battle getting tougher as technology helps inmates reach beyond the barbed wire. And with those serving long sentences like Matt and Sweat, there is nothing to lose. Now look, here at the Fulton County Jail, they're constantly watching cell phones coming into the building. Entry points like this one are set up to make sure that when someone walks through, this goes off. And they have cell phone scanners just like this one to make sure they can walk down the hallways and check people who are walking through to see if they have them. But look, they took it to another step. Even the vending machines here in the lobby have all been set up to make sure no one can leave these behind so someone can pick them up a lot later on. It's interesting how cell phones have now become such a powerful weapon.